Welcome back to the showroom. We just had a heartfelt and very interesting chat about bed bugs with our next yes, guest. Yes, <laughs> we did. And now I'm scared to go Put to New York. Put things in the dryer before you wear them when you buy we'll stuff. We'll get some more That's advice from Megan Follows. I'm sure you've seen all the signs for the Vancouver Playhouse production of this. She'll be starring in it as Jane. Megan, how are you? Hi, Megan, how are you? I'm very well. So yeah. you had I'm personal there. experience with bed bugs or just what you watched on television? No, just because I heard you singing the song about bed <laughs> yeah. bugs when I was walking down the hallway here. So they seem to be in the news you just yeah. can't get away from them. It's so, amazing how when you have that discussion though there is a psychosomatic yeah. aspect that makes yeah. everybody a little bit itchy as yeah. you go. Well speaking of New York City uh, the play that we're talking about today uh, had its premiere off Broadway uh, last year I guess yeah. it was about a year or so ago called This. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about it. <laughs> a little bit about this. <laughs> um, this is a play written by Melissa James Gibson. Um, it's about five friends uh, as it says on the on the sort of description of the play, backing their way into middle age, <laughs> <laughs> which, <laughs> which I guess to means be, reluctantly. I was going to say, be, but yeah. but generationally, that's sort of the story of our generation too. Yeah. No one wants to quite Admit jump into middle age. Admit that we are actually getting into our middle age. Yeah. Wow. And so it's a story of the friends, and uh, my character Jane is a, a widow. It's coming up to the year anniversary of the death of her husband, and um, and it's about her friends and and a choice that's made that has pretty serious uh, ramifications. What attracted you to it? I, I mean, obviously, you know, you, you can at least a little bit pick and choose what you want to do and, and when you do it, but why this at this time period? Uh, I love why the this? writing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, this, this, this yes, word yes. is going to be redundant after a while. <laughs> that's right. um, I love the writing. I love the way the playwright uses language, first of all. It's, it's quite delicious and it's a lot of fun. And she's dealing with... Um, very serious, you know, subject matters, death, uh, adultery, and yeah. she's using humor to kind of guide us through very murky territory. Not an easy thing. Now, the playwright herself was at one of your read-throughs. Uh, what was that <laughs> yeah. like for you to have her present and get her feedback? It was actually really wonderful. It's, I haven't, most of the theater, well, I've done, uh, I, the playwrights, there are some playwrights still living, but I haven't actually. Yeah. Uh, Chekhov was Chekhov it with you. Not, <laughs> was it was not with us when that, we, you know, Chekhov, Shakespeare, Shakespeare no, he was Ibsen. They were not anywhere <laughs> to be seen in the rehearsal hall. Um, so it's pretty exciting, as I was saying, to be sitting there speaking words and realizing that everything coming out of my mouth started off, originated yeah. inside her head. Yeah. It's, well, and that ability to, I mean, you mentioned at the start, to use humor in sort of dark situations and uh, but for for a lot of people I know for me it's kind of a coping mechanism right I mean uh, that ability to laugh at different situations I think so I definitely think so I think it helps I mean that's what the beauty of it is and I think that's why it is it is a kind of a coping mechanism and it's also uh, a way to let us into something you know to, to help us go through it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even the title of the play itself, you say she's uh, yes. she has fun with languages, but the word this, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were having conversations <laughs> all morning about that because it just takes on a whole new different meaning. That's right. And, and it's fun how she sort of plays with it throughout the show and, and yeah. how much it can mean, how little it can mean. It's got to be fascinating from from your perspective as an actor, when you when you first get a script and, and someone asks you whether you want to do this job, to to when it actually you know the production day comes along, does it change a lot uh, your perception of, of what it is that you're doing and, and your character and the whole plot and everything? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. I mean, some things are sort of there's sort of an instinctual, immediate hit that you might get off of reading something or a reaction that I have. But part of why I love what I do is that there's so much I don't know. Yeah. So it's really a process of discovery, and it and that's really the gift, and especially when with great writing, it's it's a treasure map. It's all there. That's I just an don't know. Interesting way of I don't at know it. what it is. I don't know quite how to get there yet, or how to discover it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and I'm still discovering it. I'll discover that right through the end of the run. And usually, when I do that last yeah. performance, well, I'm like, oh, I still. You know? And through a whole <laughs> career as well, right? I yeah. mean, it's it's the same metaphor that sort of follows the way through. When you're younger, you know, you can understand a certain amount of material and a certain way of doing things. But as you're older, you can sort of stretch that out a little well, bit. Well, I think so too, and I think age and all and experience, you know, informs and changes the way we look at things, which is why it's really wonderful to go back and revisit roles, if you can, over a period right. of, of a career, because you look at them from a completely different perspective. <laughs> Was it theater first for you or television? What came first? For me, professionally working, as I started working as a child, was in television. Uh, but my parents are both actors, my mother Don Greenhouse, my father Ted Follows, and they 
I grew up watching them on the stage. Yeah. So the world of the theater was what I was exposed to through the, through their process and their life. No rebellion at any stage. I'm, I'm going to do something else. I'm going no. to be an accountant. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm going to be an accountant. That would have been a. Was it always there though? I mean, I mean that desire. For to... me, it was always there. I think I just watched. Uh, I just loved. Uh, had a rich inner life. How nice to take your rich inner life and actually get to take it out of your head right. yeah. and get to play. It's, you know, it allows us to stay kids in a way. I and mean, play which, pretend all day. Yeah, well, well and it plays back into this as well. I mean, you know, that yeah. idea of, uh, you know, there's that fascinating aspect to aging. I don't know that anybody uh, ever actually feels their age. I mean, physically yeah. you notice some changes, but mentally, I'm, I'm constantly surprised by how I'm not feeling any older yeah. than I was when I was in my 20s. No, I think that the irony is that you actually start to feel younger. It, it's sort of a weird, or you know, you feel like, I, yeah. I feel so young, you know, yeah. or there's so much I don't know. Or, you know, the world's become so much huger, and then you realize, oh my goodness, you know. Yeah. It's sort of a reverse process. <laughs> the world's but, much huger, but I can't climb that yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Has this made you think uh, about that a lot, about middle age aging and everything that we all go through? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't it do it. Yeah. Uh, no, it's also, you know, it really is a testament to friendship, too. Yeah. Who your friends are, how you treat your friends, where you put your loyalties. And that, I think, is something as we, you know, get older, that's what we know we have. We have our family, we have our friends. Yeah. And so that's, it, that's kind of a beautiful journey in the piece. Well, and all these changes that come in your life through your family, through your friends, yeah. as they change and their circumstances change. Like yeah. you, there's an... Uh, there's a confusion that comes, I think, as you sort of you know, go through everything as well. Well, Megan, thank you so much. You Thanks, can go Megan. see this. It uh, will be on until January 29th. You can go to the website to find out all the information about Showtimes. Very nice. We're going to take leg. a break.